Ooh. What? Get ready for it. You're on a three stream streak, so you get 350 extra stream currency. Not bad. How are you, Wolf? How's things? Hopefully stuff's good. As a as a long clip. It's not a bad clip, it's just a long one. Hi Steve. Hi Meg. Ooh, very nice. You took that corner a little bit sharper than I was expecting. Not too shabby, though. They'll finish that gen that I was uh, on pretty quickly here. Especially with a little bit of help. What happened to Freddy? Uh, I finished his adapt. Yeah. Dead. I can do another Freddy game after this one. I don't mind. Yeah, I kind of figured they'd finish that one. And they got that save really quick, too. I didn't even, like, comprehend that it was done already. Really good. This is them. Again, they got the heal done, too. Very nice, very nice. Wasn't sure where they were. Steve is like right there. I can hear him. Ah! Hi, Steve. Meg must be nearby too. Because I'm still in chase for some reason. What? What is happening? Why why are we saboing this hook over here? Why are we saboing this hook? Decisive strike. Smart. But, um, kind of need to run away after decisive strike. I know the intention is there, like, the idea that you want to get value out of decisive strike is there, but. Um,. You'll increase your life expectancy in game if you don't bait the killer to pick you up with decisive.
I know that's kind of like nothing burger advice, but... It might help. Oh, hello. Hello, Steve. Hello. There's the mag, too. Wait. Good. Ah! You want to linger that pellet a little bit longer ah! Ah! until Killer breaks that pellet because it's a strong pellet. Same with this one. Just a little bit longer. You run away if the Killer breaks the pellet, but if you can get them to loop that pellet a little bit longer, then do. Ah! If they run around to the other side, uh, go back to the pellet. Is what I'm trying to say. Scratch marks here. Progress on the gen. Finish that one. We're gonna check this gen over here. Generator. Okay, good. It's not the Steve. Good. A good attempt on uh, in inside. You just got to take that turn a little bit sharper. Okay. No notes. I feel like somebody's still inside working on this second story gen. We'll go back and check it again. Nope. No additional progress. Good save time. Not bad. Good. That pallet you can just leave. That's not a very strong pallet. This one's good. Probably better just to throw the pallets. Good. Very good. Well played. Good. Very good. I don't think he makes the next pallet ah! though. No. Unfortunately, you tried. And you did well. You did do very well. We got a generator done off of your work. Which is very good. I didn't really have enough time to run away from here, so they're probably still close-ish. Ooh. Very nice, very nice. 
Both of them are death hook though, so there's really no no need to put a helmet on anyone. Good. Very good timing. That timing was actually perfect on that. Because normally you'll you'll either get a hit, it won't pull you to the other side of the pallet, but her timing was flawless. Very good. It might be able to finish the final gen. Um, lurk the back wall on that side of the pallet. Because it puts a wall between you and the killer. Running in front of the killer who's kicking a pallet shortens the distance between you and the killer. So, generally speaking, you you, uh, you want to either not do that or try and hide. Of course, that's not always good advice. This map will always be in center, usually Hatch is in center. Yeah, he's in center. Good. Very smart. Very smart. It's a good idea to hide in center. Because Hatch usually spawns in center. No notes. Very good, though. Very, very good. They played that... They played that pretty well. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. They did well. Yeah, I got bonked.